people use that term, hooking up? You guys use that term? <laughs> oh, I hear a lot of giggles. It seems like everybody is hooking up. So what is a hookup? Is a hookup a one night fling? or step one of a relationship? Or is it just a little smooching or something way more hot and heavy? Or does it just mean a date? I don't know, I mean so many things to so many people. And today, we're gonna find out all the ins and outs of this cultural phenomenon. And we're gonna figure out if it's just fun and games or if the hookup is a dangerous game. But first things first. What is hooking up? Ooh. You know. Sleeping with someone? <laughs> Hooked up could be getting a drink with someone. Getting with a chick and um, forgetting about it the next day. What is hooking up? That's what I did yesterday. It was wonderful with my neighbor. I guess I would describe it as like you meeting someone and going out for a date. Not so easy to define, huh? Hooking up like satellite dishes, like internet and stuff. I have no idea. Hooking up could be anything from a simple smooch to the horizontal mambo. Oh. With zero, zilch, nada, no commitment, people. It's way more excusable than saying you had a one night stand. The vagueness of the term just might be what people like about it most. But is this helpful or hurtful? As women, are we too busy bringing out our inner Samantha when we really should be channeling our Charlotte side? You decide. confused because when I was in high school hooking up just meant like you want to hook up yeah let's go to the mall girl <laughs> so here to help break down the hookup labels is co-author of the hookup handbook Andrea Laventhal who says there's nothing wrong with a good hookup now when you say hookup you mean wham bam to me personally it's a little bit more than making out but definitely not sex oh. So it's not sex, but it's between two people with no current commitment and no foreseeable future. That's the key. It's empowering. That's what hooking up is really all about. It's about empowering. Yeah, it's taking control of your own sexuality and saying, if I'm comfortable with this, and if I think this is fun, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the no first No strings step. attached. No strings attached. OK, well, we're going to have Andrea take us through some of the common hookup labels. So the first is denial. What does denial mean? Well, it's the one that you deny, but all your friends know exists. And they, you know, you try and pretend like, oh, they don't know anything. They are so on to you. They know that you, you was slamming him the night before. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the next label is putting in overtime. What does that mean? That is the coworker hookup, coworker canoodling, also the quickest way to get some office drama. Think Mick Dreamy and Meredith. Yeah. The next is Frenefits. Frenefits is the hybrid between friends and benefits. So it's friends with benefits, two people who agree to hook up with no commitment. It's kind of like it's but the they, booty call. It's the booty call, but they hang out, they're friends. Yeah, they hang out. yeah, yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, the oops, I did it again, which is kind of self-explanatory. It's also known as putting it in reverse or back to the future. It's hooking up with an ex. Oh, got it. Yeah, it's kind well, of retracing Sometimes that's stuff. just kind of, you know, yeah. easier. And it doesn't bump your number up. Yeah, I've done that. Everybody yeah, does. it does make you feel like you're not doing yeah, more. It doesn't like, count. It doesn't count. Yeah, your number stays the same. Yes. It's sneaky. Yeah. And what is the happy hookup? Oh, I call this the Disney of hookups. It's the happily ever after, the ending where you get the guy, the Prince Charming. It's, it's the one with the good ending. So it's like a one night stand that just stands forever. forever. Yeah, it's the hookup That's forever. That's rare. It's rare, but it happens. Oh gosh. It happens. Well, now that we've got the lingo down, let's test your skills out. You guys ready to test your skills? Yeah. All right, I'm coming over here. you to check out the two couples that are with me now. Can you figure out this state of affairs on looks alone? First impressions. So, is the first couple putting in overtime, meaning are they an office hookup? No. Are they a happy hookup, meaning a hookup that ended in a relationship? No. Or are they exes who, oops, did it again? Yeah. Okay. So that's what you think. Isn't our little hook cute? I'm gonna put it on the hook. <laughs> that's what you guys think. Okay, 
So for our next couple, what do you think they are? Are they the result of vacation <laughs> hookup? <laughs> are they in denial, meaning they refuse to admit that the hookup ever happened? <laughs> or are they frenifits, friends with benefits? <laughs> Which one are they? Okay, so let's start with couple number one. Mary and Jay, reveal your hookup. Oh. Uh-oh. So you guys did a wham bam and are still together. You guys are so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Okay, so how did you guys meet? A friend and I had a plan to go down to a beach bar and drink a little bit too much, and then crash somewhere. That was our, that was our plan. Um, we ended up meeting two handsome gentlemen. Jay and I ended up uh, really liking each other. We made out, okay. and um, I thought at that time, I thought nothing serious could ever come of that because it was a hookup. And look at you now. OK, and how long has this hookup lasted? This has been over two years now. Oh, wow. Okay. So our next couple, couple number two, everyone said that you were Denial, saying that you know it happened, but I don't remember. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so show us the truth. <laughs> okay, so Ashley, come on. What's the deal with you all? Hooking up to you means um, all the way. X-rated. X-rated. <laughs> okay. No, we were friends before. We were friends before then for a long time. But, and then um, started. Yeah, and then we started, so I thought it was fine because we really weren't doing anything else with our lives. <laughs> I understand that one of our couples wants to change their hookup label. Who does you guys, who do you guys think it is? Who wants to change? <laughs> well, the people that want to change, or the man or woman that want to change, please step forward. <laughs> so why do you want to change? It's funny you ask that. <laughs> It's been two years, but I, I, I would be honored if you would spend the rest of your life with me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> uh, how do you feel right now? Honestly, um, I'm really shocked. Yeah? <laughs> His dad's um, in the audience. Hi, Daddy. Take hey. that mic. There he is. <laughs> hey, it's all good, too, because the, my dad and my mom, they met at a disco in New York City back in the 70s, so... And so, they're still together right now, so... What do you have to say, Dad? I'm just uh, hoping that they can have the same kind of uh, happiness that uh, his that mother have. and I have had. Nice. All right. Nice. OK. All right. This is, you guys, this is a happy hookup ever after hookup, but... We have to be really realistic here that when it comes to hooking up, it's not always, this is like one in a trillion. Mm. So this show today is about really being responsible and figuring out what a hookup is, what it's not, what's healthy, what's not. And as I said, back in my day, hookup meant going to the mall. And we really <laughs> want to define this and figure out why people are saying this. And so, bl uh, God bless you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. But it's not Up next, the hidden dangers of hooking up. If I'm out of control, we're going to his house or we're going to get a room. You got to stop. You got to stop. Come on now. And later, shocking revelations about kids and sex. At 11, they usually do oral sex. Wait. And... Wait, at 11 years old, they do oral sex? Yeah. up the good the bad and the truly ugly and dangerous of it and joining us now is a woman who says that casual hookups keep her all shook up this is Shelby so Shelby what is what's a hookup to you we're defining it today so what is it to you hookup to me is just basically casual sex no strings attached 
Men has been doing it for years. I don't see a problem with women doing it. And when was your last hookup? It was it some sports party or something? Yeah, it was a guy that he plays for the NFL. Um, basically, we were sitting at... Is he famous? Eh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, okay. he might be. Okay. I don't know. So you, you met him at a party? I met him at a party. Um, we were basically sending ass to each other all night. He sent me a few drinks, a little bit of conversation, some wine. He came over and he asked me where I was going. I told him I don't talk to strangers. I ended up going home with him. <laughs> um, Is that your game? Like you like